Next up here on the Fantasy Flex is a segment that we like to call Elite Entries, where Sean and I dive into the Prize Picks app and compare our player projections to the props to build some entries. On this episode, we like to do all running backs. So, Sean, start us off with your first Prize Pick Elite Entry for Week 8 at running back. So, I'm going with two Thursday night football props for you. Uh, and the first one is Chase Edmonds over 36 and a half rushing yards. Um, this is too low. Last week, he operated pretty much as a workhorse back. Um, he outcarried James Conner 15 to 10, and that was in a blowout. Um, so I think Edmonds is a safe bet for 12 or so carries here, which would easily put him over this number. Um, you know, I'm projecting him closer to 45, even 50. I mean, he just has a really high floor ceiling combo. So love over 36 and a half rushing yards against the banged up Packers this week. Yeah, I've met 10 carries for 45 yards. Uh, for my first prize pick of weed entry at running back for week eight, I'm going Chuba Hubbard under 69 and a half rushing yards against the Atlanta Falcons. And I just think this number is a little bit too high here. Hubbard has been a guy that Carolina does want to get involved, but I have this closer to 64 uh, against the Falcons. So Hubbard has gone over this number in only one of his games, and he's been in the double digits and carries for the last five. He started the last four, and yet his rushing totals have been 52, 57, 101, 61, and then 28 uh, last week. So I think he does better than last week, but 70 yards for Chuba Hubbard is a lot of yards. So going under Chuba, 69 and a half. Sean, who do you like for your second running back prop for week eight? So I, I also like the over 17 fancy points for Aaron Jones on Thursday Night Football. Um, now, this is full PPR scoring. So I think he does get a boost this week. I'm projecting him closer to 18, 18 and a half. Um, you know, he's going to have a very high floor with Devontae Adams and Al Lazard out potentially for this game for COVID. So, um, you know, I think the Packers are going to lean on him both running the ball and in the passing game. So I would not be surprised if he catches five or more balls here. Um, so that's why I do like the over 17, considering this is full point PPR scoring. Yeah, it should be a big game for Aaron Jones. Uh, and that's really the only way they can stay close in, in this one with all the COVID situations happening. For my second running back pick, I'm going Cordero Patterson under 53 and a half rushing yards. His median on the year is 42 and a half. And he's a guy that they're using as a Swiss Army knife. So just because he got, you know, 14 carries, 60 yards, last week doesn't mean we're going to see that every week. I don't think Mike Davis is always going to get four carries in a game. So I still think Patterson is a, you know, high end running back too, but this line is pretty high for a guy with a median uh, of 42 on the year. I think that that rushing usage from week to week is still going to be a little more uh, up and down than, than we think. So under 53 and a half rushing yards for Cordero Patterson. 